filled with chemicals and designed to put out small fires. These silent guardians are often overlooked, but they are the first to remember whenever any kind of fire-related accident occurs. Often seen in buildings and homes, we all know what fire extinguishers do, but today let's know how these life-saving equipment are made. Making fire extinguisher is a step-by-step -step process, and it starts with making the cylinder body. Fire extinguisher cylinders are usually made of 1 to 3 mm aluminum alloy sheets or cylindrical blocks that are molded from two hydraulic presses that perform impact extrusion. This is a two-step process where one hydraulic press forms the shape of a pot and another press then draws the pot into the final cylinder shape. These processes are both done in quick succession and at a close distance and are operated by one or more individuals. This forms a cylindrical metal form that needs trimming and welding. An edge cutting machine is used to trim the size of the cylinder by firmly holding with a pneumatic fixer and cuts with a blade while the cylinder is rotating. This will make a clean cut around the cylinder for an easy welding process. Metal caps are then welded onto the top and bottom parts of the cylinders to close out the can. The next step is painting those cylinders. Red powder paint is used which is commonly considered the color of fire extinguishers. The paint is sprayed on using an automatic process in a coating booth whereby the canister is rotated so that every area it is covered. The cylinders are then left to cure in an oven before additional components are installed. The next step is making the pressure release valve and extinguisher handle. Both the pressure release valve and extinguisher handle is made of aluminium. The valve is responsible for controlling the flow of the agent. The valve is the mechanism connecting the carry handle and the operating lever and around which they function. The fire extinguisher attached with a pin and allowed to pivot. And lever made of aluminum is riveted onto the handle. This is what is squeezed to release the contents of the fire extinguisher. The next step is making and installing the inner valve stem. The inner valve stem is what makes the valve function. The first piece is applied by a worker and the valve is run through an assembly machine. A spring is placed inside each valve stem which gives the mechanism its resistance when the lever is squeezed. Extinguishing agents in the cylinder is the next and one of the most important step. The extinguishing agent is added to the vessel accordingly. The process can be manual or by automatic machinery. Fire extinguishers come with a variety of different extinguishing agents inside of them. Each different formula is designed to deal with a different class of fire. A BE powder, wet chemical, foam, and water are the mostly used agents. A rubber O-ring is placed by a worker around the valve, opening to seal the connection between it and the opening of the cylinder. Then the siphon tube connects to the valve and runs down the length of the cylinder where the pressurized contents are stored. The chemicals flow up the siphon tube and out the nozzle attached to the valve unit. The valve assembly is finally added after the contents of the cylinder are added. Also, a fire extinguisher gauge is screwed onto the valve so levels can be checked easily. For dry powder fire extinguishers, the next step is important and that is pressurizing the cylinder. Pressurized air is added by machine after the valve unit is installed. Once the fire extinguisher assembly process is near completion, sticker labels are added, which give instructions and useful information regarding the type and contents of the fire extinguisher. The process ends with the quality check and once it's done, the packaging and transporting process started. So, that's how fire extinguishers are made. Hope you learned something useful today. Still, if you have any questions, please write us in the comments.